LA police are once again answering questions about excessive force after a handcuffed teenager is roughed up and a nasty neighbor gets the heave ho for stinking up the place. Minnesotans like dope. That's what it's about. There's a demand here for drugs. And that's why gang-related murders are on the rise tonight, what police plan to do about it. Good evening, I'm Randy Meyer. Julie is off tonight. Drugs are invading the streets of Minneapolis in huge numbers. Cocaine seizures have nearly doubled from this time last year, and police say they're seeing much more heroin and crack cocaine. The fallout, the number of gang-related murders in Minneapolis this year, has already surpassed all of last year. Minneapolis Police Chief Robert Olson is reviving an old anti-gang program. He met with people in both North and South Minneapolis tonight to explain his plan. Andy Skugman's here with more on that. Andy? Well, Randy, the program is called Minnesota Heals. It's a public-private outreach program that some say helped reduce gang-related violence back in the mid-90s. Twin Cities corporations helped at-risk kids find jobs and mentoring programs helped give them structure. At the same time, police stepped up patrols, warned gang members against retaliation, and ultimately slowed down drug traffic. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go. As a youth basketball coach, Paul Cross believes he helps teens score points, not drugs. But we're keeping some of these kids out of the, off the streets. In the new North Minneapolis building tonight, it's hard for them to find education, employment, or anything else. So they have no other resource but to return to the gang. Other 